for the next review of oh, for fuck's sake. Well, do I need to turn to this again? How the fuck are you using that stuffed animal like that? And is that a bottle of water? Okay, George, we'll be done in five minutes. Maybe an hour. That was fun, but greetings everyone and welcome back to Does It Suck? This is an interesting because this is the start of the first themed month, kind of. But we're doing three films, one after the other, and all part of the same fucking trilogy. So, yeah, themed. First off, the library ends with Noah Weil, Paul fucking Newhart, and Jean Curtin. Do you even need to say anything about the fact that that cast is great? D d don't you mean the librarians? Quest for the Spear? Alright, oh, fuck the librarians is the name of the TV series that came out of this trilogy. Yes, they made a TV series. And yes, we're gonna do that as well. But anyway, how does the librarian quest for the spear start? Looking like it stole my a fucking font style for my fucking videos. Seriously, I'm pretty sure that's for files. Find the translation for any of these hieroglyphs. That's because you're focusing on the fourth dynasty. While these particular glyphs are derived from third dynasty regional variants. So through these stones, we summon down the powers of the gods. Slow down, slow down. Our main character, everyone. The answer? They reach the past themselves. They touch the divine. They summon the muse. They forge what is indeed the greatest of the original seven wonders of the world. Sorry. Somebody spill a mochaccino? Yeah. Very well. Thanks. If you haven't guessed, this is an Indiana Jones parody thing. In the same way that The Mummy with Brendan Fraser is a parody of Tomb Raider. Kind of, but it's also kind of its own thing. So anyway, his professor says he's kicking him out of the course because... He has a fuck ton of degrees, yes, I'm pretty sure it's over fucking 20, yes, and he goes home and gets a letter from the library, which is a magical archive of random shit you find in myths. More books. These are just books. It's Aristotle, Voltaire, Young. These books are slices of the ultimate truth. So evidence that Flynn's mom is fucking weird. Well, she sets him up on a blind date with the daughter of her fucking friend. Yes, uh, that would be fine if in the next film she didn't also chance him up with his fucking cousin. Flynn, Flynn, Deborah, you two look great together. I'll leave you two kids alone. Would you like to sit down? So anyway, after the talk, he feels like shit, gets a letter and goes to fucking interview for the librarian. Roll credits. You have been selected to interview for a prestigious position with the Metropolitan Public Library. Where do you 
think you're going? Yes, you. Get in here. Dune curtain in a film is always a fucking win. He gets a job and he gets to meet Bob Newhart's character, Judson, who is centuries fucking old. Also the first librarian. There uh, isn't going to be a, a next time, Mr. Carson. You are about to begin a, a, a wondrous adventure from which you will never be the same. Isn't that what the army does with nuclear weapons? Where do you think the army got the idea? So basically the librarian is the guardian of all the artifacts, one of them being the Ark of the Fucking Covenant. So apparently when it said it would be taken care of by top men, meant top man. So the whole thing with Excalibur, except the Excalibur is not the sword in the fucking stone. And they talk about the last librarian who is also the main fucking villain for this one. And we find out why there's a look but don't fucking touch real about most of these fucking artifacts. Um, <clears throat> this uh, box once belonged to a girl named uh, Pandora. All magic comes with a price. So yeah, anywhere people back in the library yes people back in the fucking library knock Judson out yes and knock him out too and steal part of the spear of fucking destiny I'll repeat that the spear of destiny so it's apparently Flynn's job to find the other two pieces and bring them back to the library because I'm pretty sure that's something you'd probably send a fucking army to get. This book contains all the clues you'll need to locate the other two pieces of the spear. The only thing that we know for certain is that the the second piece is somewhere in the in the Amazon jungle. Well, good. That narrows it down to about um, three million square miles. Okay. Time is money. Come on. Well, this has been a dead language for thousands of years. I mean, there's nobody alive that even knows how to read it. <coughs> so, uh, you better get cracking. So, take a short moment on a plane. Flynn figures out how to read the language of the fucking birds. And they parachute out of the fucking plane into the Amazon fucking jungle and they're waiting for the fucker to land. So, after this, it's further in the jungle. More take a shot moments. And then they're found by a tribe and taken to the tribe's village where they're then captured by the main villain. And so Nicole, the main love interest, is also Flynn's guardian. As in, she's the one protecting his ass. I'm pretty sure getting captured by the main villain is not the way you meant to do that. ¿Qué vos estás haciendo en la miña selva? Viemos regresar a Lanza Biblioteca. Él es bien por la Lanza. Oh. It was just Portuguese. I was overthinking it. Well, I get it. He's being professional. It isn't as if you genuinely care for me. Shut up. Why are you smiling? 
I don't like it when you smile. That means you're about to do something incredibly dangerous. Oh, you know me so well. Look, look. I'm dead. Okay, no, but did they end up finding the temple with the first part of the Spear of Destiny? Flynn gets him trapped in a room with the walls closing in and a pit of spikes and one way of getting across the pit and that's not by using a fucking foil gun. I got it! This chamber is an exact replica of their great temple of Tiwatiwakan. 300 Kwai Hiddles. There is a place in this chamber where all priests can receive salvation no matter what and that place would be... There? It's midair, Sherlock. Um, trust me. We only live once. Unless you believe in Buddhism, oh, I hate Buddhism. you so much. And that is not even the weirdest fucking trap. Seriously. <laughs> Yes, that just fucking happened. But anyway, after they get the piece of the spear, they're then kidnapped and taken to the main villain. And this is where they find out that it's actually the librarian before him and that him and Nicole also had a thing. Apparently she has a thing for librarians. I knew you'd bring me the piece, Nicole. Edward? You're the last librarian. Wait a minute. You're... So anyway, to find out that the uh, last piece is actually in Shangri-La. Yes. So another fucking weird ass puzzle. Where's your Shangri-La? We can't find it from the air. All the clues are on the ground. <laughs> You're leading me on a wild goose chase. I should kill you myself. Because why the fuck not? And the Spear of Destiny piece is behind a lock that can only be opened by the person who knows the name of God. So, uh, good fucking luck trying to get that fucker open. <laughs> M. E. Me. God is within us all. It's about time! So, the escape with all the pieces, go to the hotel, and considering there's 20 to 30 minutes left in the film, I really fucking doubt there's just gonna be happy endings from here on after one. Strip the mysticism aside, and you'll need a, a local electromagnetic field registering over. 15 on the, on the Shun scale. Okay. Good. The only time that kind of energy's ever been registered was during a peak full moon at the Great Pyramid when it had its capstone. And the Egyptian government refuses to replace the... capstone. So, big climax time. Flynn tells Judson to call them Marines because they took the spear pieces to the university he was at at the start of the fucking film because they just happened to have the capstone of the great fucking pyramid 
the quickening. So the fight scene happens, and uh, Flynn just shoves the villain under the capstone, and he is crushed. Because apparently there can be only one librarian. Well, two Highlander jokes in one review of librarian. Even one of the support stones, or off even by an inch, the whole pyramid collapses. I'd say this was out of alignment. I will destroy you. You never will. Know why? Because the things that make life worth living can't be thought here. They must be felt here. <laughs> You could call this smashing. Yeah! What the fuck was that? So anyway, the villain's dead. The spear is in the library and still intact. Flynn pulls a scalp from the stone. Not meant to be from the fucking stone. And he gets a painting in the library. But it's not done yet. He still needs to do a scene with the mom. Is a librarian now, but he's capable of so much more. Well, it's complicated. Nicole, this is my mother. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Carson. No, no, the pleasure is mine. Deadly Scorpion League has found H.G. Wells' time machine. And that's where the film ends, with him going off to see if H.G. Wells' time machine. I would actually want to see that adventure, because time fuckery is always fun. But, what the fuck? Yeah, so... Yeah, it, this is the least good of the trilogy but it's still good the other two just happen to be a little bit better but this one has a and a great soundtrack b noel wilde jane Curtin, bob newhart and kevin Ma uh, the captain from how you met your mother and c it's just well written uh, except for uh, few scenes where yeah, it's not that great. But again, it's Jane fucking Curtin and Bob Newhart. Those two are always a win. So anyway, I'm Sam the Martian Critic and I'll be seeing you very soon. And I'm Janet and I will be seeing her a lot sooner.